Hi, welcome to Chapter 18 of the UVM Primer Code Videos. I'm Ray Salemi, the author of the UVM Primer, and in these videos we're walking through the examples in the book in more detail than we cover them in the book, just so that we can see how the code works. In this case, we're going to be looking at creating blocking communication between two objects, and once again, we're going to break something in the test bench that had been a single block into two different blocks, and in that case, it's the tester. We had a, an object called the tester that both calculated the, uh, the stimulus that had to go into the test bench and also called and managed the BFM and sent the data in. We're breaking that into two pieces now. Uh, one called the tester, the random tester here, and one called the driver. And we're going to look at the code that implements this blue area right here. Actually, we're going to go all the way over and look at the tester as well. And so this is all the same as it was in the, uh, in the previous chapter. So we're just going to look at this little bit over here. First, let's look at our tester. Now, if you look, remember the picture, the picture talks about the random tester. But that was only, if you remember, one of two possible testers. There's the random tester and the add tester. And they both extend this base tester. And the beauty of the base tester is it handles all of the run phase work. So we put the command port, and here is our UVM put port, we put that, we define that put port, we declare it in the base tester because any tester is going to want to have a command port. Those of this class wanting to have the put port, they're all also going to want to have the run phase. And we can look at this common run phase where we raise an objection, we create a reset op command, and we put that reset op into the command port. And then we start a loop, and we fill up uh, a command. Uh, and again, we're using the um, we're using that command struct again that we talked about. We're putting putting an op and a, and data into it, and we put it into the command port. But since we already put the reset in there, uh, this is going to block. And so now we we can wait for the for the consumer to get it. The consumer in this case is called a driver. A driver, generally speaking, is an is a class that takes in objects and talks to the hardware. And in this case, our driver has a UVM get port, which he creates in the build phase. He can get a, a command S and also a result. And what he does is he, uh, the, he gets the um, command out of the command port and he sends it to the BFM. And he actually doesn't do anything with the result, to be honest. He just sort of looks at it but, uh, or just receives it. But never, we don't do anything with it. And then this loops forever, so he goes back up to the top to get the next command, but if that command is not there, he blocks, and the, and the tester can reload it. The two of these guys are held together uh, with an environment, and if we look at the connect phase, we can see here in the build phase, we create, we have this command FIFO, so we go up to the top, here's the UV, UVM TLM command FIFO, and that is what's going to connect these two objects. We also have the uh, the tester, in this case a random tester, and a driver. If we go down here, uh, we can create the random tester and the driver, and we also create a new command FIFO, which you see just like a component, even though it's not, takes a uh, takes a name and a uh, and the pointer to ourselves in its constructor. And we've got those two those three objects, and now we, we're going to hook them together. So we take the driver. And we know it has a command port in it, so we say driver.h.commandport.connect, we call the connect method, and then the command FIFO has the get export object that connects to the getting side of the FIFO. And the tester has a put export object that connects to the putting side of the FIFO. And now we have implemented uh, this portion of our test bench and broken these two out. And that's how you do inter-thread communication in the UVM in a test bench.